Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. So this video shows you what to do if you can't connect to your NAS drive under Windows 11. It might be that your NAS drive is an older NAS drive and uh, I'm just going to try connecting to mine. So let's just type in the IP address and uh, let's try and go to my shared folder in it and uh, there you go, Windows cannot find that. This might also be handy, this guide, if you've got a printer that uh, is a scanner as well and you send scans from your printer to your PC or laptop and the scans aren't making it there. It may help, it may not. Worth a try though this. So, Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this box and we're going to close this down. Okay, and I'm going to press the Windows key. Now the Windows key is on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard, usually between the CTRL key and the ALT key. Hold this down and then press the letter R, R for Romeo. Okay, if there's anything in the run box, then just delete it out now and type in there appwiz.cpl. That's A-P-P-W-I-Z dot C-P-L, just like it's shown on the screen. And then click OK. Hopefully after a couple of seconds, we should get a list of programs that are installed on Windows 11. And we wanna go to turn Windows features on or off, just on the left hand side, click that once. Then you'll get this turn Windows features on or off box up here. We wanna scroll down and go to SMB1 stroke CIFS file sharing support. Click on the, cr the plus just to the left, okay? And what we want to do is we want to tick this box here that says SMB 1.0 forward slash CIFS automatic removal. Now, if you're trying to connect to a NAS drive, now what you need to do is you need to tick SMB 1.0 forward slash CIFS client as well. So you need the first one and the second one ticked. Now, if you've got a printer stroke scanner which you're trying to send scans or uh, files to your computer then you need to tick the third one the smb 1.0 forward slash cifs server but if you're only using this to uh, get to a nas drive then you only need to do the top two if you're only using this to get to a, a scanner then you only need the first and the third to be ticked. So as mine is a NAS drive, I'm just gonna leave the top two tick there. Then I'm gonna move my mouse over, okay. Left click once, okay. It's gonna take a little while. It says it's searching for required files. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. It's just gonna install some files. And there we go, it's now applying the changes. And once it's applied the changes, we need to restart the computer. So I'm gonna move my mouse over, restart now, left click once, and let the computer restart. It's gonna do a bit of updating, as you can see there, it says updates are underway, please keep your computer on. Don't try and turn it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video while it's doing those updates, and we'll come back to it when the computer's restarted. And here we go, it's now just firing up. So uh, customizing features for you, you're 67% there, keep your computer on. And here we go, it's now logging in, so hopefully it shouldn't be too long now. And here we are, the computer's restarted, so I'm just gonna open up File Explorer, and then we're gonna try that again. So I'm just gonna to go to uh, 192.168.10.200, which is the IP address of my NAS drive, and go to Shared, and here we go. It's now opened up. So there you go, that guide showed you how to connect to an older NAS drive under Windows 11. Like I say, also handy if your scanners stop working by sending scans over the network. Hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching.